Oh, act like I've been here for hours. <laughs> Just got here. We're joined by superstar ballerina Misty Copeland. Give it up for Misty. Yeah. And a queen filmmaker Nelson George is here for Nelson George. Yeah. Misty made history, you know, this summer, becoming the first African-American woman to be named principal dancer of the legendary American Ballet Theater. The new documentary, A Ballerina's Tale, chronicles her journey. Take a look. It's okay for you to do ballet. It can be cool. Your body type isn't going to hold you back. You can still become this beautiful dancer. I think when she realized that she had that opportunity to do that, it became less about just herself and more about what she can do to change the world. It is a beautiful, uplifting documentary, and Misty, just congratulations on all well-deserved that has come your Thank way. You. And I think people have forgotten about the injury that you sustained, and this is really what the documentary is about, about overcoming challenges? Yes, it's definitely a, a huge part of it. Um, when I met Nelson, I was performing and dealing with this injury, um, but hadn't yet realized the severity of it. So he captured that entire journey and process, me getting back onto the stage, which is so common as a dancer. But I also felt like this was an opportunity and a platform for me to share and educate people on the history of African-American ballerinas that have existed for generations and generations. Give them a voice. Yes. Let people know about that. As a storyteller, you were there when after she announced right. the injury and you thought, my, this is a golden opportunity to show people what it takes. Yeah, I mean, you know, as a storyteller, the moment of decision when a person has to really fight their way through, Misty just, uh, she's an artist, but she's also an athlete. Mm -hmm. And the combination was kind of compelling. Yeah. So we were able to really follow her through a, a very painful journey to back to, to, to go beyond where she even was before. To go be even beyond that. Yes. But I, I, I appreciate it so many that not, not just going beyond where you are, but also, as you said, reaching back, looking back, mm -hmm. and also wanting to show the need for diversity, more diversity. Mm -hmm when it comes to being a ballerina. Yeah, that's so much a part of my story and my mm -hmm. experiences. And I think something that uh, people that are that are getting an opportunity to see this film that don't know a lot about the classical ballet world, to see how difficult it is to exist, period, but to exist when you're a minority. Mm -hmm. And so it was important for me to um, be that voice for so many people and say it's okay to be different and you can still succeed. You are a powerful voice, the, the commercials, uh, the Broadway debut, I was there for that, and I love how you said she is the first ballerina superstar since Baryshnikov. Yeah, I mean, in terms of the pop space, I yes. mean, she's someone who's, who's stepped beyond the boundaries of the classical ballet world, and that's extraordinary. It hasn't been since Baryshnikov in the 70s, in my opinion at least, that anyone has leaped from that world to where people at the mall know who you are. <laughs> and so what what is next for you? What, what, what more? I know that it's about the dance, but there's yes. so many opportunities that are coming your way, Misty. Yeah, there's so many incredible things that I never imagined I would be doing, but ballet is still my priority, and it's my first season as a principal dancer, and our season opens up at the Coke Theater at Lincoln Center October 21st, so right now that's where all my focus is. Okay, can, as, as we go away, can you just tell me the proper stance so I can just... Uh, oh. <laughs> Because a ballerina's is tale, nice, yes. is that, is that yes. good? A ballerina's <laughs> tale opens in select theaters October 14th. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Coming up, Jack Hanna and his animals. Thank it's you. a zoo. It's a zoo. Come on back. Thank you.